CNN bashes president's government shutdown. Humiliated when Trump drops brutal hammer by Robert Rich. Politics US News for MadWorldNews.com. The liberal media is always out to get President Donald Trump, and it doesn't seem to bother them how many times they get utterly humiliated in the process, proving that most recently was those at CNN who decided to bash the president over the looming government shutdown. But they just got humiliated in a huge way as Trump dropped a brutal hammer on them, and they never saw it coming. You'd think that after uh, wearing egg on your face a number of times, you'd eventually want to stop causing it to happen. Well, CNN apparently doesn't mind eating crow as they continue to do it time and time again in their desperate pursuit to take down President Donald Trump. And the American people are not buying it, might I add. Even worse yet, they've officially taken home most of the fake news awards recently announced by the president, but that still isn't enough of a, an a wake-up call to uh, make them change their ways. In fact, they demonstrated just that during a recent segment while trying to bash Trump over the impending government shutdown. The incident took place this morning as CNN's Chris Cuomo invited former Trump campaign advisor Michael Caputo to have a discussion on his New Day show, of course, since the raging liberal host can't even contain his display, or display, excuse me, disdain for Trump. Uh, he quickly began to put the pressure on his guest, talking about the president's uh, deal-making attempt and his inability to avoid a government shutdown thus far. It wasn't long before Cuomo would inadvertently humiliate himself big time. As can be seen in the clip, Caputo pushed back on Democrats, saying that Trump off, uh, Trump's offer was more than fair to the left, but that the entitled brats wanted more. Seeing how this is the nature of any negotiation, each shot aside trying to get as much as possible. Chris Co uh, Cuomo's guest pointed out that this is Trump's bread and butter. Bringing up Trump's uh, business side, Michael Caputo flipped the sc uh, script on his host saying that Cuomo merely lacked the ability to understand the president's tactics. This sent C the CNN host into yet another childish breakdown, causing him to attack Trump on a personal level. He left. Cuomo explained he's going golfing. He's leaving to go to an anniversary party for himself today. Who does that? Too bad for him. That was about the time things blew up in his face. Let's take a quick listen to this idiot in charge here. We started last week with this great kumbaya meeting that we all gazed at, and the president got good and due credit for bringing people together in that room, getting them on television, and go make a deal. From then on, are you disappointed in what he's shown in terms of deal making? You know, he goes back on his promise two days later. Uh, then he gets into it about the wall. Kelly goes out there, tries to move his position on the wall towards reasonable. He fights back in a tweet, says the wall hasn't changed. Then he says Chip shouldn't be in the CR, which is the only thing that the Democrats saw as a carrot in it. And the White House had to correct him. I mean, that, that just doesn't sound like savvy at work there. Well, I, I mean, I, I disagree with that, of course. I think the president has a lot of experience negotiating, and he changes his positions frequently when he was building, you know, billion-dollar skyscrapers, and I think he'll do the same things here. At the, at the end of all of this, though, we know that the, the DACA really isn't important to the Democratic Party because they chose leaking uh, an allegation that the president used some kind of, you know, uh, expletive during uh, intense negotiations. They chose ru leaking that and ruining the negotiations over getting a deal for DACA. And Chris, here's what I think. What about Jabari Lindsay? The president. 
The president's got I, I get party. that, but Lindsey, Lindsey Graham doesn't represent the Republican Party. Oftentimes, he's... he's what are you talking about, about, Michael? ...with the president. How can you say that I, about Lindsey Graham? about Lindsey Graham being a... Uh, Lindsey Graham is a legendary, longtime critic of Donald Trump. They're friendly about it. But he's always been critical. I, I, no doubt. And the president doesn't have a problem going golfing or sitting down with people that he disagrees with. Look, but Lindsey Graham doesn't represent the president the said what we know he said, and he expressed a preference for immigrants from Norway over basically anywhere that has brown people. That's what he said. And That's what he believes. It's consistent with like a half dozen other statements about immigrants. But you can't That's who he stand, is, Michael. But you can't stand? That's not true. And you can't stand to step, to step back and let the pro the president solve this doc problem. The fact of the matter is, he the left. He's going golfing. Going to. He's leaving to go to an the anniversary party for himself today. Good for him. From the, well, listen, Good for him. The president was uh, ha is, is going to uh, cut a DACA deal that even the Democrats can 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 live with. And I believe he'll probably alienate some of his base with this DACA deal. The problem the Democrats have is they can't have the president in the lead on this issue. The president wants to give these. Uh, uh, DACA, these dreamers, uh, uh, something to hang on to. And, 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 well, and give a me one indication, indication that the process. president wants to do that. One, and then I'll let you go for the weekend. That he's uh, even sure. considering. Uh, first of all, he's told me that. He said it several times on the campaign trail. When did he's he been, tell you that? When did he tell you my, my priority is saving these dreamers? I feel terrible about it. I want to build a love. He, he, he's you've heard him America, say that. He's told America that he wants that. He's I know. He, he, he did tell them that. And then, during the campaign. and then he rejected the deal that was the closest thing to a bill of love two days later. He doesn't want chain migration. Yeah, but the, the bill that came to him two days later was filled with deal breakers that the, the Democrats knew were deal breakers. They checked every box he they asked. They were poison pills. It had, it had Lindsey Graham and other Republicans behind it from the Senate. It checked every box. Not completely, but that's, that's Lindsey what Graham. About. Lindsey Graham. You keep going to Lindsey Graham. He's not an indication that there's widespread Republican support of anything, Chris. And just he's to be clear, not. I mean, he's a legitimate voice in opposition. He's a legitimate critic of the president, but he doesn't represent the majority in Congress. Mostly he was an honest side. broker. When, he's, when the president does the right thing, he's with him. When he doesn't, he's against them. Some would call that leadership. And remember, Mitch McConnell, the leader uh, of the Republicans in the Senate, says he doesn't know what the president wants either. But Michael Caputo, you make the case, and you're always appreciated here to do so. Have a good weekend. Enjoy the anniversary. Release the memo, Chris. Release the memo. I was waiting for that. Tell me what's in it. <laughs> you don't know. It four pages. I don't know, but I want to know. So that, that, that's what I'm saying. I've never we heard a congressman know. talk so much smack about something, offering nothing what's in it. But when it comes out, we'll talk about it. I promise you that. Be well. I'll be looking forward for that call. Allison. Sounded almost like you had the memo to release. The, I have it right here. I, I wish. That's really good. <laughs> that would be a good, great show. <laughs> I'm too tired to read it. I have to hand it over to you. And then I take it. Notice how they're, they're joking meanwhile, about it? As we all know, there have been so many women's issues that have come to the fore in this first year of the Trump presidency. So we want to know how female Trump... You, you notice how they're laughing about it? Believe me, it's nothing to laugh at. They're going to be crying very, very soon. Although golfing was in Donald Trump's plan before, and God bless him, he should go golfing. I would, my hat's off to him. The president never left, and even more recently, he dropped the brutal hammer on Chris Cuomo and every other idiot like him. According to White House officials, President Trump has decided to remain in Washington, D.C. Well, I wouldn't mind even if he went golfing until the Senate passed a short-term spending bill to keep the government open. Haley Jackson's tweet. So this is new. A White House official tells Poole the president will not be going to Florida until the CR passes. POTUS had originally been, uh, been set to leave for Mar-a-Lago this afternoon. Trump was uh, previously scheduled to depart for uh, his property in Palm Beach, Florida at 4.30 p.m., but d now does not expect to depart until Saturday morning. The president is throwing a big gala at his vacation property in Florida to celebrate his one-year anniversary as commander-in-chief, source the Daily Caller. In short, Trump is sticking it to every liberal and Democrat out there who thinks he actually wants to shut the government down just to get what he wants. No, that's the Democrats. The fact is, he has the power. 
Republicans control all three branches of government, but rather than pass down decree after decree, he's seeking to work with those who oppose him on every front. Unfortunately, they are unwilling to do the same. They want chain migration. That's why. No. So, if ever there was a guy who understood the art of the deal and knew how to get things done, especially when it comes to dealing with difficult negotiations, it's Donald Trump. Of course, this is one of the main reasons that he was elected. The American people liked the fact that he had a documented past when it came to successfully getting things done. Sadly, this is a reality that has the left that the left will never understand, and it's based uh, by his tax like Chris Cuomo, who prove exactly why. Yeah, they want chain migration. They don't want for the 800. They want chain migration added to that. Trump's not agreeing to that. Even, even uh, Schumer said, uh, we'll stop calling you racist if you approve everything that we say for the DACA deal. Really? Excuse me? So, in other words, you're blackmailing, actually, right? No, we're, we're, uh, Trump's not going for that. It's actually quite laughable what Schumer had said. And Cuomo, they're laughing at the memo. You know what that memo is going to do to them? That's going to bring the whole, the whole cabal down, believe you me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.